and welcome to the End Time Shofar channel. Today we'll be discussing Netflix series cartoon Turbo Fast, Satanic Illuminati Symbolism Exposed. Now, this particular Netflix cartoon series is an offshoot from the hit movie Turbo, where the snail is extremely fast and enters in the Indianapolis 500 to race against race cars. Now, primarily today, we'll be doing this expose, examining um, one or two episodes of this particular series, Turbo Fast, but we screenshot some of the episodes that we'll be teaching on and exploring. So, primarily for copyright's sake, we're not we're not trying to infringe on anything. We're just using this for teaching purposes and reporting. Now, a couple of years ago, this movie Turbo came out. It's a hit movie and very cute storyline. Turbo and his brother live in this community of snails in the San Fernando Valley. And Turbo has a dream of becoming a uh, Indianapolis 500 race car driver and winning it, the actual race. And he idolizes his, his icon race car driver is Gagne, which ends up becoming his nemesis when Turbo ends up receiving, um, becoming super fast. Um, Turbo has this freak accident where he's sucked into this drag racer's car, intakes some of the fuel and on, and all of a sudden he becomes this super fast snail that just takes the nation by storm and ends up eventually again winning the Indianapolis 500. Um, the guy that takes him in as a pet, um, they have a taco stand, Dos Brothers, or Dos Bros, which ends up bringing attention to them. And again, really excellent storyline. This movie was a hit with kids. It ended up grossing about over $280 million worldwide. So that tells you how popular the movie is. But springboard from that, the movie turns into a Netflix series. So, of course, kids who flock to the actual movie to watch this actual movie that was, again, very popular, very great storyline, of course, began watching this actual series. And both the movie and the series is made by DreamWorks. So we move on. Netflix has this actual series, Turbo's Fast. So the movie is Turbo. So the series is Turbo Fast. It's an original series there on Netflix. So um, kind of view some things. We're watching this as a family, but we begin to find some things kind of troubling about this actual series. And it's laced with all kind of satanic, illuminati, masonic symbolism within it. Now one of the first episodes kind of began to see this pattern of the symbolism in the series is season one episode 14 gypsy moth prophecies where you have this mysterious moth appear out of nowhere and she begins to give these snails primarily um, turbo and his brother chet and the rest of their friends all these different psychic readings which we all know from the Bible is divination, anything outside of uh, the inspiration of the Holy Spirit of functioning somebody to prophesy is divination and divination is the other flip side, it's the demonic side of prophecy. So as we see here, the this this gypsy moth, she eventually moves the snails to her place of residence where she goes behind the curtain. She's behind this curtain, which has the $1 bill, which ironically has the all seeing eye here. And as we can see here, kind of minor, but it's there. It has a Masonic tracing board. There, so this checkerboard floor is actually a Masonic tracing board. So, kind of 
find it odd that in a children's cartoon that they would actually have this type of symbolism in there. But again, Satan doesn't care. He doesn't play fair. And we are definitely in a great spiritual battle because he wants to gain the hearts and minds of young people. So he'll start from a very early age of indoctrinating them, bombarding them with certain symbolism, um, and whether it's even in music with certain lyrics and with television and bombarding them with certain morals, certain symbolism and all, it's all going to culminate into the worship of the son of perdition, Antichrist. So it's an Antichrist agenda that is taking place. As we can see how this gypsy moth has on her curtain the one dollar bill she has the all c and i we see the symbol of the actual one dollar bill behind the one dollar bill we see this all c and i here the all c and i of horse which is the all c and i of lucifer again after she's done giving her psychic readings she goes back behind the curtain which is the symbol of this one dollar bill, the all C and I, and she, again, she's given these different psychic readings. She's got them enticed by giving them certain promises that they're going to achieve, and that's one of the things is kind of of a bait of a psychic. They tell you some level of things that are true. Um, they operate in familiar spirits, so they're kind of familiar with things regarding your family, regarding some things in regards to your past. And some of the things, they're not 100% uh, predicting the future, but some of the things, they are somewhat accurate where the enemy is, he, he uses things to line up into making certain things come to pass to get you to believe a lie and to believe the deception. So you become dependent upon the psychics. And again, it's indoctrinating kids. Okay, it's, it's cool to go and get psychic readings. There's nothing wrong with that. They tell you the truth. They tell you good things and all. But it's not of God. It's, it's a forbidden practice. It's an abomination in the eyesight of God because it's inspired by demons. And the end result is, even though they may tell you some truth, there's lace with lies and deception which leads you stray and it leads kids astray. Now when we look at some of the symbolism of a moth, you know, again they have this moth as a psychic, a gypsy psychic, and the cult symbolism for a moth is dreams, shadows, otherworldliness, secret knowledge and psychic awareness now when you look at even secret knowledge basically the very word occult means hidden knowledge so years ancient times years years eons ago mystery ba babylon where all these occult religions arise out of where you have the continuation of these mystery schools once nimrod's tower was actually brought to nothing the people were dispersed to all parts of the earth um, they carried uh, these mystery Babylon religions and these mystery schools and also we can see secret knowledge psychic awareness again psychic abilities and and actually given psychic readings is under the spirit of divination we can look at Acts chapter 16 verse 16 how the woman did tell some truth about Paul being a man of God, but it was inspired by demons. And it also said that this woman brought her masters much gain. So her psychic readings, her use of divination brought her masters a lot of money. And Paul ended up casting out that demon of divination because it said that she had a spirit of divination and we'll move on to season one episode 15 no can do 
And pretty much this actual episode, this can falls out of the sky and it lands in the city where these snails dwell. And Turbo and his older brother Chet, they're talking. So Tet, Chet is determined to get this can open because he wants to supply the community with this juice. Finally, he drills, he finds this drill, he's able to drill open this actual can, gets a taste of the juice, he comes under some type of, of hypnotic control of this can, and he begins to worship this can, and then he begins to have other people within the community of these snails begin to come in contact with this tomato juice within the can. So of course they begin to follow Chet. Chet arises like this high priest for this can and are leading these snails into the worship of this can, which as we can see has this all seeing eye, again symbolism within this actual cartoon. Chet instructs the followers to start building a fence around this actual can. And actually, they dig around the can to create separation of the worshipers of this actual can. So Chet, again, he is the high priest of this all-seeing eye can. The snails that come in contact of of Drinking this juice, or the juice touching them, begin to worship and follow this actual can. They're mesmerized by this actual can. They're under, they seem like they're under a spell when they come in contact with the juice of this actual can. The only person that's really not affected by this can is Turbo and a few other other friends, about maybe two or three other other friends, but the whole community is overwhelmed by the actual juice of this can and the worship of this can and Chet being the high priest are leading the snails to the worship of the can. And as we can see, I don't know if you can see down here, but the snails are literally, they're bowing down and they're worshiping this actual can. This all seeing eye can. So when we look at the meaning of the all seeing eye symbol, it's the actual sign can be interpreted as a Masonic symbol of the all seeing eye. It's the all seeing eye of Lucifer. When a human being opens up his third eye, it allows the person to make contact with the Lucifer consciousness. It is a symbol of illumination. This all-seeing eye of Lucifer symbol is used in divination, hexics, and psychic control. So when we look at this particular episode of Turbo, it's fast, on Netflix, these snails come under a psychic control of this all-seeing eye can. So in re reality, the subliminal message that this actual cartoon is showing is the worship of Lucifer. So even Chet and some of the followers are saying how, oh, how we love you. They're telling this can how they love the actual can and they're worshiping the actual symbol of Lucifer. So it's the subliminal messages that are being interjected into young kids hearts who's viewing these things who see the symbolism they don't really understand but it's getting deep and down into the subconscious mind and into the heart that's why parents again you just can't take for granted of just sticking your kid in front of a computer screen or in front of a, a television and just thinking that it's something that's animated that is cute and it's nice and it's innocent and there's no harm to it. The enemy is using a lot of the symbolism. If you see a lot of the symbolism in these music videos, these television shows, and these movies and all, 
He's utilizing that to bombard the minds and hearts of young people. So to conclude, reading Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 18, it says, What profit is the image that is the maker should carve it? The molded image is a teacher of lies. That the maker of the mold should trust in it to make mute idols. So in today's times, if we look at the flat screen TVs that we have, that we have these computers and we have like these iPods and iPads and all. And I'm not saying anything's wrong with technology, but the things that kids are being bombarded, prime example of the things that we just shown in this actual Turbo's Fast series, it's a teacher of lies, it's teaching the lies of Satan and it's being used as a method of indoctrination to your kids. And I find it ironically, I make the statement that the founder of Church of Satan, Anton LaVey, had said in the 60s that the TV is the new satanic altar for the family to infiltrate homes with satanic religion. So so kids are being infiltrated into their homes with lies and images of lies. And also we have to really trust in Jesus Christ in these last and evil days because the enemy is not playing games at all. He wants the hearts and minds of our children. So parents, you have to be the watchman of your own house, the priest of your own house, being vigilant, praying and fasting and discerning those things that are not of God. God bless.